welcome to the International Business and Law Academy. I am Ruby and today, in order to understand the function and nature of hedge transactions, we will be looking into the Bank Brussels Lambert v. Inter Intermetal Corporation case study. Facts. In this case, the two parties are Intermetals Corporation, a New Jersey corporation who traded in steels and other metals, and Bank Brussels Lambert who provided financing for Intermetals global transactions for several years. Bank Brussels Lambert was a Belgian bank with a branch office in New York. In October 1988, Bank Brussels undertook on Intermetals behalf a foreign exchange transaction to hedge Intermetal transact, uh, contract for the sale of steel payable at a future date in Duchmarks. The hedge transaction was successfully carried out, protecting Intermetals profit in the steel sale by shielding it from the risk of fluctuation of the douche mark during the period of exposure. The discussions of the hedge transaction led to discussions of speculative foreign exchange trading. Bank Brussels Lambert thus began to conduct a course of speculative uh, foreign exchange trading for intermetals. Under the party's agreement, Bank Brussels would cause intermetals to enter into a contract for the purchase or sale of a foreign currency at a agreed US dollar price. A foreign currency would be purchased to speculate that before settlement, the US dollar would weaken against the foreign, foreign currency. A sale of the foreign currency would affect a speculation that the US dollar would gain against the foreign currency. Bank Brussels immediately notified Intermetals of every trade and at no time speculated on the price change over a future period of more than two days. Ultimately, when the bank demanded over $1.5 million from Intermetals to cover losses on its account, the company argued that Bank Brussels had committed fraud by failing to fully inform it of the risk of speculation. Therefore, our issue here is, did Bank Brussels have a duty to disclose the risk of foreign exchange trading to Intermetals? What do you guys think about this case? Uh, Intermetals Corporation, a New Jersey corporation, traded in steel and other metals on an international base. International business, the payment in the currency of many countries. When signing a contract and when paying, there are many risks, so the presentation of risk as a payment is necessary. Uh, let's take a step back and uh, let's review the facts. Bank Brussels Lambert provided financing for Intermetals global transactions. In 1988, Bank Brussels undertook a foreign exchange transaction to hedge Intermetals contract for the sale of steel payable at a future date at Dutch Marks. Overall, uh, I don't agree with their speculative business uh, because it's too dangerous. Um, the success of the hedge transaction led to discussions of speculative for of foreign exchange tradings. Thank you for that discussion. However, what is a hedge transaction? And is hedging a good strategy? Hedging transaction means any transaction enter to by the taxpayers trade and business primarily to manage the risk and price of our currency chains. Plus, chosen with respect to ordinary property interest, price of credit debt. I want to mention the devaluations of country currencies, plus situations, deviation of the value of an observable form is average or also Deviation of the actual times, evolution of an observable form is average, evolution in a system subject to random force or simply undergoing chaotic motion. Hedging is broadly divided into three types, which will help investors to gain profits by trading different commodities, currencies, or securities. Therefore, under the parties talked about in this case, Intermetals entered into a contract for the purchase or sale of a foreign currency at an agreed US dollar price. Ultimately, when looking at the bank, it demands that over 1.5 million from the Intermetals to cover its losses on its account. 
The company argued that the bank Russell had committed fraud by failing to inform the risk of speculation. Uh, I saw that the Indomitus had foreseen this risk, therefore decided to invest its currency on speculation. The company cannot blame the bank. Yep, hedge stock uh, portfolios to reduce market risk. Uh, while risk can seldom be avoided completely, uh, portfolio hedging is one way to protect a portfolio against uh, potential loss. So hedging stock does come at a cost, but it can give investors a peace of mind. Once again, thank you for that. Now I'm going to talk about our case study and uh, coming to the issue of did Bank, Bru uh, Bank Brussels have a duty to disclose the risk of foreign exchange trading to Intermetals? Our decision would be no. The evidence shows that Intermetals was aware of the risk of fluctuations in foreign currency before it began speculative trading. Indeed, Intermetals first foreign exchange trans transaction with the bank um, the hedge transaction was motivated by the company's desire to build, avoid that risk. It had earned a $300,000 profit, payable in the future in Dutch marks. This profit was therefore exposed to the risk that the US dollar might rise against the Dutch mark before payment was received. Intermetals made its hedging transaction in awareness of such a risk in order to avoid the risk. The trading it undertook therefore was equally motivated by awareness of the risk of currency fluctuations. In fact, it hoped to profit from that risk. Thank you very much for everyone participating and thank you to the International Business and Law Academy.